I mean, they've been on the brilliant run on the Mark Robinson, and hopefully they can get back to winning ways after what was a good point up in Liverpool recently. Overlapping run here, opportunity and a first chance of seeing Charles Sago Jr. He's still running. Wants something given, ignored. It's going to fall on the edge to Bandera. Chance not over. Smith Rowe, and that is a very, very impressive save from Slanina. It is, it's, it's good pressure from Arsenal. How he kept that in, I don't know. That's close to a penalty. It's Emil Smith Rowe, Matt Smith, just stuns the ball out to the far side. It's a deep cross, maybe a foul in the back against Lewis Hall, but it's stepped over. Driving run from Vale. Tries to get to Burst, though. Good first touch. Hutchinson, little cute ball. Lewis Hall's going to try and keep it in play. Unable to throw in high up the pitch for, for Arsenal now. Here is Smith Rowe. It's a deep cross towards Sir Jan, but Slanina does well to a Chelsea player's path. Give a chance. Lewis Hall's picked the ball up. Driving into space now. Ranking. Teasing it. He's up from the back along with the centre half partner. It's an in swinger from Amari Hutchinson towards the far posts. A looping header. Let's go out for a goal kick. It's a nice and burst though at the far post. Either burst or Sturge. Midfield, but Chelsea have made it a much more even contest the last 10. So yeah, I'm driving forward. Opportunity now for Ideo. Joel Ideo. Looking for an angle at the near post, but probably wasn't there for him to, to find Slonina seemed to have that covered in, even if it was, was on target. Yeah, it's a poor decision because he gets in. No foul in there and opportunity now for Mill Smith Rowe. Just drags it wide. Good opportunity though for a player of his quality to not hit the target from there. He'll be disappointed. He will be and I think when the ball's travelling he makes his mind up here. I think he's aware the way that he turns and spins. He's got a lovely little bit of space and then Almost didn't expect it, it felt like, didn't it? Chance here now for Lewis Hall to change the angle. It's a nice Hutchinson. Another one towards the far post. It looks like a free header for Gilchrist. Back to Elliot. Another lovely pass from Elliot. Now with Rankin. Chance to square it. Very near. In the Women's FA Cup. Looking for a double and could be an opportunity here for Harvey Vale. Squares it to Lewis Hall. Good opportunity there for the opener, Sam. Yeah, and Arsenal playing themselves into difficulty. Harvey Vale with a really good decision with his pass. Lewis Hall possibly had a bit more time there. Far away either. Here's Cozy Adubri that's going to swing up. Well gathered in the end by Slonina. Going to change things for Chelsea. A long raking ball towards Hutchinson, who could be in here. But header onwards. Shrink. Good return from him as well so far. And it's the first season at Chelsea, 16 games in PL2. Excuse me, Ben Elliott. Ball wide to deep cross towards the far post. Again, it's a good delivery. Can get the run of the ball at the far post. Dion Rankin was in there. Here is Dion Rankin. Strike with the left foot. He's brooking as an overlapping three and a half minutes until the half time whistle, and it's opened up for Bandera. It's a real start from Arsenal. They control things 10 15 minutes, but Chelsea have come back into the game really well. Then it's been pretty even fair. Not too much on even goal, either goal. Smith Rowe probably with the best chances from an Arsenal perspective. Quite a few balls flashed in for Chelsea and Lewis Hall. Towards the start of the season for Mikel Arteta, but hugely talented player who will look to make his mark on this second half. Has started this second half well, they need to do a little bit better when they win the ball. Good chance here for Harvey Vale, very nearly nicking in behind in the players' minds. Good chance here for Mason Burst, though. Mix up in the arc. Could be a chance here, here's Harvey Vale. Vale! Maybe another chance, another shooting opportunity for Harvey Vale. Yeah, well, if they keep giving Chelsea opportunities by trying to play out in their own defensive third, feels like there's a certain degree of inevitability about the outcome. Harvey Vale with two sighters, just couldn't find either corner with that one. He's well. Uses Lewis Hall as an overlap. 
back to Rankin on the byline. Does really well, just Dion Rankin. Vail back to Ben Elliott. Rankin again. Brooking with a deep cross. And eventually Arsenal can lash it clear, but only as far as Arsenal are players in the box. It's a dangerous strike as well in the end from Hideo. Just cuts across it. Can't quite keep it on target though. Hideo again. Sosa again. And defended by Brooking. Hideo shows good feet. Yeah, good effort. He's come a, a lot closer with that almost complete replica of what came a few moments ago. He's a little bit tighter in here. That's poor from a Chelsea perspective. Hudson has to react quicker. Too easy here again to dance away from Lewis Hall. Castillo, there was a foul there. Big chance here for Sago Jr. Just puts it wide. It's agonizingly close. Yeah, and Chelsea would have been bitterly disappointed there because that was their best period of play in this. Took around a corner from Waneri. It's going to fall back to Ethan Waneri. Well, to wriggle away and create an angle, but never troubling the goalkeeper. No, the first bit's good. Gets hold of the ball well, little drop of the shoulder, but maybe had another pass in this. He's digging the strike out. Eventually, the ball's under his feet on his uh... the substitutes bench. Should Mark Robinson want to reshuffle again at some point in the final 15 minutes? But here, Arsenal on the break. It's another important stop from Slonina. Yeah, he could have been made to look foolish there, couldn't he? Because I think he did read the. Good luck, taken by Smith. Just bouncing around it. Could it find its way in here? Scrambling, Chelsea eventually get it clear. Could be on the counter attack here with Brody Hughes. Is that really? Good play from Zach Sturge now. Amari Hutchinson. What can he conjure up? Very nearly snuck in at the near post to the path of Brody Hughes. That's really well, Brody Hughes. It's going to fall to Zach Sturge. Brody Hughes. Lewis Hall, the in swing up, free head up. Don't think he gets. I don't think he gets a touch in the end. Actually, Sam, it looked like Leo Castledine was going to drift in and power that one into the gaping net, but I think he just evades him. Yeah. A mistake, and they've given the ball now to Ben Elliott. Here's Hutchinson. Low driven cross, it's going to fall to Leo Castledine. The deflection goes in. Chelsea have the lead. How important could that be? Leo Castledine's first PL2 goal of the season. Little deflection. But finally, Chelsea have the breakthrough. Well, they've rode their luck a little bit in this second half. Arsenal. Defended the 18-yard box pretty well to a point, but there's been a number of balls that have been half cleared to kind of the edge of the area towards the D. And on this occasion, Chelsea player Leo Castledine in that exact spot once more. Once that ball's repelled, half cleared, if you like, gets enough on the strike. The unfortunate player is Walters, who's actually probably been the pick of the Arsenal defenders in this second period. Can only put it towards Leo Castledine, and as I said, enough on that left-footed strike once it gets...